Hi guys, I recently bought a CZ75D Compact PCR, and I love this gun. It's perfect. So naturally, I wanted to change everything on this gun. Okay, that was a slight exaggeration. Uh, I love my CZ75 PCR. Uh, it is not perfect. It's a very, very, very good gun, but there are some issues with the gun from the right out of the box. The sights that come on the gun are pretty inadequate. I guess for a concealed carry where it's point and shoot, it's not horrible. But if you want to do any kind of aimed shots, uh, the sights that come on the gun are not ideal. The So I have replaced the sights on this gun. Uh, it comes with the plastic guide rod, which I have replaced the plastic guide rod with the stainless steel guide rod. The plastic guide rod probably would have been fine for any usage I would ever give the gun. Uh, it's just a little peace of mind thing. I like the stainless steel guide rod better. And the uh, final thing I have done to this gun is I have replaced the grips. I actually like the rubber palm swell grips that come on the CZ75 PCR. Um, it's a little large. The grip's a little big around for my girlish 10-year-old girl hands. But uh, for the last at least two years, probably three years, I've been hearing about lock grips. And I got to give a shout out to Ebomi. He was the first person I ever heard mention lock grips. That had to have been three years ago. Uh, at the time, I didn't have a CZ75. My SIGs all had grips that I liked. I didn't really want to change out any grips, so I kind of put it in the back of my head and filed it away. Um, I have since seen videos from Coda Boy 32 Pops Quest, Big Johnson, you name it. Everybody has been raving about lock grips. Uh, I did notice when I first got the PCR that the rubber grips impeded the release of the magazine. The magazine did not drop free with the rubber grips, and I assumed that the problem was the rubber grips, and uh, I was correct about that, it turned out. So anyway, to make a long story not quite as long, I ordered, uh, several weeks ago, I ordered some grips for my CZ75 from Lock Grips, and I went with the black matrix grips, and I decided I wanted to snazz it up a little bit, so I added a purple liner to the grips. I kind of, I debated back and forth, do I want to do an orange liner? Do I want to do a purple liner? The orange liner, I wasn't planning on this, they just happened to be sitting right here. I kind of like the black and orange look. I decided to go with the purple. And I'm kind of kicking myself now. I really wished I had gone with the orange because the purple does not contrast on the black grips. I don't know if you'll be able to even see the purple liner on here. I think it actually shows better on camera than it does in person. There's a purple liner right here. When you see it in person, it almost looks gray. Uh, maybe in bright sunlight you can see a little purple. That's the only complaint I have about these grips. And here's the pattern, the matrix pattern you can see. Uh, I liked the original grips. I love these grips. It gives the gun a much smaller profile. You don't have the palm swell. I can reach the trigger much easier with these flat, thinner grips. The material is awesome. The pattern is awesome. This is a G10 same thing they make knife handles out of. Uh, you'll see it in a lot of products. But uh, this is designed, the Matrix is designed specifically for concealed carry so it doesn't rub your skin raw. A lot of the lock grips apparently have a very uh, aggressive texture which can sandpaper your skin or like basically like a cheese grater. This is designed to be carried up against your skin when you rub your hand over this thing smoothly, it feels smooth. When you put a little bit of pressure on there and press your hand into this, it gives you a very, very secure grip. It, it feels very secure. There's no doubt that it's 
there's no question that this is going to slip out of your hand. It just feels very secure. It's a really perfectly designed concealed carry grip. Kudos for that. Two thumbs up. Uh, when I ordered the grips, they um, I understand this is not any fault of lock at all. The they had a uh, a message on their website that they were just coming back from the pandemic that they had been shut down for a while and they had a backlog of orders and you know please be patient and blah 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 and it took them two weeks three weeks to catch up to the backlog and actually these things they're like burger king more or less they make these things when you order them they don't have stock sitting around uh, and you can order them any way you want there's lots of customization options but uh I went with the basic simple black matrix, but then I decided to snazz it up a little bit with purple, which you probably can't even see. I really wish I had gone with the orange because that would have been sharp. That would have really stood out on this. I may splurge and, and buy the orange grips anyway, just because these don't exactly do it for me, the purple. But, um,. So two or three weeks after I ordered the grips, uh, I got a notice that they had shipped. And after several days, I started checking the tracking and the tracking was like really, really not helpful. And I've noticed this from the post office. This was shipped through US first class mail. Um, the post office, I don't know what's going on with them lately. I have seen several packages that I have tracked in the last few months, and maybe they can blame the virus, I don't know. But uh, I live in the middle of Florida. The Grips, for example, spent six days. They come from Michigan. They spent six days in Florida, bouncing around all over the state. I'm right in the middle of the state. They went way north of me. They went way south of me. They were east. They were west six days in Florida for a first class package which is supposed to be delivered in I think it's four business days so it took way over a week for me to get these from the time they were sent from Michigan that is, does not reflect on lock at all because I know when they mailed them and I should have gotten it in three or four days and it took me like 10 days to get them not locks fault at all all right I'm babbling to sum it up these grips are awesome these are the matrix grips, like I said. Uh, I did pay for these out of my pocket. I didn't, you know, I didn't get a freebie on these or anything. Uh, this is my honest, honest opinion. I love them. I just wish I could see that purple stripe more. Uh, I'm really, really thinking I'm going to order the same grips with the orange stripe because I know that shows up. What The problem is just the purple doesn't contrast on the grips. All right, enough of the babbling. Highly recommended lock grips made in the USA in Door, Michigan. Pause and read. There's their business card. Uh, and it's a small operation. I believe there's like five employees, maybe six, that work at lock grips. Handmade, CNC machined, made to order when you order them. Lock grips. Two thumbs up. Can't say enough good things about this. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you need grips for CZs or SIG or they make 1911 grips, they make all kinds of grips. Check them out at Lock Grips. I'm not going to put a link below, but it's really easy to find. L-O-K, Lock Grips. Check them out. You won't be disappointed. Really love these things. All right, guys. That's all I got today. Thanks for watching, and be safe out there.